Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with another edition of One on One. And today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about comic book pressing and cleaning pricing and what you should expect when you hire someone to press and clean your comic books. Hey guys, I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor. I'm a comic book presser. I'm also an authorized CGC dealer located way up in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And like I said, this is another edition of One on One with me. The Comic Doctor. Guys, not too long ago, I did a book, a comic book for a client, a new client, and um, uh, he received the book back not too long ago. He was quite happy, I believe, with the results, and he posted all over Facebook, and for the most part, great response from people, but then I noticed I went on one of the uh, Facebook group pages, and Facebook, some, some pages can be really toxic, and some people can be very toxic, and anyways... He said, oh my gosh, I'm being attacked on this one page. So I went to the page to see what was going on. And sure enough, uh, he, he was kind of talking a little bit about the expense involved with pressing, cleaning, and grading comic books, which as you all probably know, can be quite an expensive endeavor. Anyways, I got to the page, I looked it over and all these guys are, you know, you know, touting, oh, you shouldn't be paying more than $15 for a press or $20 for a press US, I would assume, because most most of these groups are, are American based. And they're going on and on and on. And some guys are, no, no, don't be silly. It should be more like this. And they're back and forth. I just could not believe how how ridiculous some of these fellas are <laughs> in their in their responses. And I think this put, left a really bad taste in my client's mouth. I think he was like, oh, wow, maybe I overpaid to have my book uh, clean pressed and sent in. Um, so I want to come on here and just kind of go over really quickly, uh, not only what I charge uh, to have a book clean and pressed, but also to... Uh, Talk about what most, most reputable uh, cleaning and pressing companies charge, okay? So you, there's no surprises. And by the way, my pricing is very transparent. You go over to comicdoctor.com and go over pricing. i got a CGC section where you can check out my CGC pricing. And you can go on, go on over to the pressing section where I have all my pressing prices. There's no surprises to anybody. I, I don't hide my prices. They're there. Um, but... Before I get there, let's let's talk about CGC because they are the main, you know, let's be honest. They are the industry standard when it comes to grading, like it or not, they are. And when it comes to uh, pressing, C CCS, which is now called, I think, CGC pressing, I think is what they're calling it now. You know, they've been doing that for a long time too. And in fact, until CGC, I think, said it was okay to press, it was uh, kind of a uh, taboo to press books. In fact, when I started pressing books, geez, 15, 13, 15 years ago, and when I started doing it for people like 11 years ago, I was getting hate mail for pressing comic books. So let's go over to the CGC site. I'm here right now. I'm not going to show it. You can go over there and look at yourself. But but basically, CGC's pressing prices are, are, are the tier system is exactly the same as our comic book uh, setup. Yeah, modern, vintage, high value, and unlimited value. Okay. So when it comes to modern books, they charge $15 USD uh, per comic, which is approximately. You know, twenty dollars Canadian for a book valued up to four hundred US. Okay, for vintage books, the price doubles. It goes to thirty dollars uh, US, which again is around forty dollars uh, Canadian. Again, up to four hundred dollars value. Once you go from four hundred and one to a thousand dollars, their their price bumps to seventy dollars US, which is again approximately ninety two dollars Canadian. And then when you get to their unlimited value, uh, they have a, uh, it's 4% it's of fair market value or $150 minimum. So whichever one's higher, the 4% or the $150 minimum, that's what they charge. That's about, the minimum is about 200 Canadian dollars, okay? That's what CGC is charging. Now, I, I totally understand why they increase the you know the, the the charge if you're working on a ten dollar book versus a two thousand dollar book or three thousand or five thousand dollar book it just kind of makes sense that you're charged a premium for that i do the exact same thing uh with with my with my pricing now my my pricing starts at 25 dollars canadian and that's for a book that just requires a press no cleaning just a press if a book requires cleaning then it goes to thirty dollars so it's either it's either twenty five dollars or thirty dollars for me Canadian, which I'm not I'm not going to go backwards with the U U S pricing, but it's cheaper, 
knock about 30% off <laughs> for my American uh, viewers out there. Okay. Uh, and then when I go to books that are in excess, I get a lot of books from the, like the, you know, the, the 500 to a thousand dollar mark. And those I charge, uh, $40, 40, $40 for those books, Canadian. And then for books that are a thousand dollars up to 2000, uh, 999 or 3000, I charge a hundred Canadian dollars for those books. Now books that are in excess of $3,000 and I kind of follow CGC's, uh, you know, uh, lead here and I charge 3%, not 4%, but 3% of fair market value. And usually I'd look at it in Canadian dollars. I'm usually pretty easy going when it comes to that, but that's just me. So that's my pricing. Uh, I do encourage you guys to look at, a variety of different pressers, okay, and see what they're charging, okay. Companies have been around for a long time. They're probably going to charge slightly more than a guy who just opened up last week, all right. Uh, when I first started price uh, uh, pressing books, I was charging, excuse me, fifteen dollars a book. But even back then, I still had a tier system for books of, of higher value. It just made sense to me that if a, if a book is worth, you know, way more money, I'm going to charge more to press and clean and work on that book. It requires that much more care and attention. Not to say that a book, not to say that every book isn't given, you know, great attention, but those books require even the utmost skill and uh, steady hand. You know what I mean? So we do charge more for those books. It just makes sense to me. Um, but then again, that kind of makes sense with anything we look at, right? If you go to, if you want to hire somebody to, uh, I don't know, a carpenter in your home and you, and you, you're getting a seasoned carpenter, someone or a tiler or someone who does tile work or whatever, someone who's been around for a long time, you're paying more for those people than you are for somebody who's straight out, you know, straight out of trade school. That's just the way it kind of goes. Right. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of the way it goes. Now, when it comes to CGC, this is the one that kind of makes me laugh a little bit. I don't think people understand how much work CGC really is. And I don't think people, a guy sending in two or three or four books from the United States to CGC uh, every month or so, or every two months or three months, understands how much work it actually is. I'm shipping to CGC approximately 150 books a week, sometimes more, sometimes a bit less, but approximately 150 books a week. The data processing on that is takes a long time. The paperwork is endless, it seems. Then you got to pack the books up. You got to you got to you got to you know do all the shipping labels, the customs forms, ship them out, and then you're monitoring the books as they get there. You're monitoring the books while they're there. You're answering emails and texts. Where are my books? Are my books almost ready? Can I have an update on my books? It's constant communication with clients. It's a lot of friggin' work to do CGC. Okay, uh, so for people to think that dealers should do this for free is, is beyond me. Some guys will say, well, if you press your books with me, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my discount, my CGC discount. But then they go and they charge a paperwork fee, which is equivalent to anyway. So it's all, uh, you know, whatever. CGC used to give dealers a 20% discount. It's now down to 15%. That 15% was the, the markup, I guess. I wouldn't even call it the markup. That, that was the kind of the cushioning that we can maybe make a little bit of money doing the CGC. It wasn't enough for the amount of work that I'm putting in. I charge, uh, you know, based on what you would see at CGC, I would charge probably an additional 10, 12% on top of that, uh, depending on the tier and what have you. Uh, but, but clients in Canada, in the United States don't get this, but clients in Canada need to understand that when CGC sh ships a book back to you, one book, you're probably looking at $100 one way, Canadian, maybe even a little bit more, you know, uh, Americans don't seem to understand that. Canadian, the shipping for Canadian uh, 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 CGC clients is crazy. So I have a, C I have a, my own FedEx account. I ship the books back to me. It works out much cheaper that way. A client will, a, bo a book coming back to me in Osh was, I charge $10 per book. Actually, it's not true. I charge between $6.50 and $10, depending on how many books are coming back. Um, CGC will, uh, $10, right, per book versus $100 for one book. So, a lot of savings can be be had uh, using the shipping through me um, versus having it shipped back to them directly. Again, these guys on this Facebook page had no idea that. They also don't realize that, you know, someone like me, uh, I mean, I run a business. Right? I, ha I have a brick and mortar sh shop. I have to have $2 million liability on my shop. I have to have, uh, I have $50,000 in shipping insurance. So when I ship your books out, they're, 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 they're covered. That's close to just under $5,000 a year I got to pay for that. Right. So the overhead for me 
and I'll be honest, over the last 10 years, as I kind of expanded and moved into a brick and mortar shop and now have, have a couple of employees and, 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 and work this way. Yeah. It has become a much more expensive business to run. Um, and unfortunately clients have to feel, will feel that, um, that's just kind of the way it is. But if you want things done right, and if you want to work with somebody who's been down this road many times, you pay for that, right? Whether it be me or any other presser out there. There's a lot of good pressers out there. I'm friends with many of you guys. How you doing? And this is the videos for you guys as well, too, So I'm sure you're hearing this. Um, you know, a lot of guys have come out of the woodwork since COVID to be, you know, professional pressers, having, uh, you know, a, 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 a working out of their garage with one or two presses, doing a, a couple of books a, a day, you know, versus, you know, guys who do this for a living now, right? It's a full-time gig. So it's different, but the same could be said for backyard mechanics versus somebody who works at your local garage. They're going to charge you a lot less. They have zero overhead, right? So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. When you pay a premium for, for somebody who knows what they're doing, you're paying for that knowledge. You're paying for the peace of mind, knowing that when you hand over your book, it's, it's going to come back and it's going to come back better than it left. And, uh, it's going to get back to you. It's not going to go missing and it's not going to disappear. It's not going to get destroyed, right? Believe me, guys, I've heard a lot of these horror stories. So anyways, before you embark upon the pressing and grading road, understand it is an expensive, expensive undertaking. And as you all know, the market has really shifted in the last five or six months. A lot of books are no longer worth anywhere near what they were worth four or five months ago. So you got to be very diligent uh, to go through your books and and really scrutinize which ones you're going to submit for pressing, cleaning, and grading because it may not be in your best interest to have them worked on. Uh, whether it be a $15 press or a $25 or $30 press, it just might not be worth doing, uh, let alone grading them as well, right? That's where the big... The big um, Onus should be put on not how much it costs for a press and a clean, but which books are being accepted for pressing and cleaning. You know, and you as a as a as a as a comic book collector or someone who's interested in having your books worked on and graded, really need to do the due diligence. Sit down, spend a night or two going over your collection and, dis and discovering which ones are probably worth doing, and then maybe jotting down a grade that you hope to get. Your presser, if you sit down with your presser, they can tell you if a grade you hope to get is even possible, right? Anyways, guys, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I do live unboxings from CGC pretty much weekly. In fact, another box, yeah, another box arrived today. So I'll probably do another live unboxing later on uh, this week. So be sure to, again, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you know when I do go live. Guys, thank you so much for popping in. I'm going to find my end thumbnail. There it is. And wish you all a very good uh, good evening and hope to see you very, very soon again here on the Comic Doctor YouTube channel. Take care. Bye for now.